This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. We're, We're still on holidays, on holidays. Yeah. but there's podcasts galore because mm-hmm. we give and we give and we give. That's right, everyone. This is the Bubble and Squeak <laughs> podcast. What is Bubble and Squeak, by the way? Is it like a mash, is mashed potato yeah, part of bubble potato, and squeak? Yeah, I think mashed potato in it. Isn't it something to do with the dinner the night before yeah. and then yes, they whack egg and mashed potato in with it and, and then you fry it up. Fry it up in the pan. Anyway, yep. that's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's tasty. It fills a hole. Enjoy. All rise because the king is in the house. Oh. Rick Arden from the Channel 7 News. Welcome. Good Hello, morning, Rick. Welcome, Rick. Rick Thank you. We've known you on television for mm. 400 years. Yeah. We've personally <laughs> known you for about 20 and we cannot believe we're now discovering something about you that we never knew. You're an expert in something. Tell everyone what it is. Oh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I love Seinfeld. Love the sign. It's great. We go to so very good. Very good work by you. So we go to Seinfeld quiz nights around Perth. There are more than one Seinfeld quiz Oh, night. yeah, 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 there are. And uh, we love it. So we've got a team. We've got... Uh, a couple of guys, Cal and Mitchell Wally, they grew up. Their father said, if you want to know about life, watch Seinfeld. Yeah, so they can the just show about, about nothing. The show about nothing. So they can just about relate episode word by word. So we're one team. The other team are a very good team, Jugdish, which is Jerry Seinfeld's Chuck alter Dish. name. Yes. Uh, his Indian name. Yeah. is um, They're very good too. So we usually win and or the other team wins. So yeah. now we've started having quiz nights against each other just for us. So tonight we've got one at the Herdsman Tavern in Wembley at 7pm. We're inviting... Anyone who wants to come along, just roll up. So you can you take can sit you on our t- table. You can sit on yes. your table, and or can you take you on as a team? Uh, yeah, or you can take us on. Just okay. even if there's one or two people listening, roll up. We'll put you on a table with also one or two people listening who might want to come in and test your knowledge. We actually played a South of the River quiz night at, yes. a, at a pub, and there was a very good husband and wife team. We don't know who you are, but you're <gasps> out there somewhere. Come and join them. So, so you rush straight from, I guess the Channel 7 is just around the corner from the Herdsman, which is straight handy. Straight work you, is great. So, yeah, you've pretty much still got your makeup on and you go straight there because no, you're no, that I take keen. The makeup off. That keen right. to get to your Seinfeld quiz night at the Herdy. Yeah, I take the makeup off. I mean, if I had the makeup off I'd, on, I'd almost go via connections and see Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I, I, I shorten the lashes there, Rick. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> so, Rick, this is amazing because last time we were in, we talked about your um, love for karaoke and now it's Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah. So we, we were peeling, peeling layers off you later you are on an in onion. Hey, great. Well, well, yeah, the straight-looking serious guy on TV isn't mm. always me. Mm. <laughs> I think this is absolutely great. Me okay, too. we're going to put you to the test yeah, against sure. one of our listeners. Yeah. yeah. So if you are sitting at home going, yes. I know heaps about Seinfeld, yeah. I know more than Rick Arden yeah. about Seinfeld. Yeah, not like we don't want people going, oh, I'm going to give it a go. No, you need to know Seinfeld. Yes. All right? Inside out. Yes. And how about this, He's Rick? wearing a Seinfeld shirt, yeah. for goodness sake. I know. It says, no soup for you. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Rick, here's the deal, okay? Sure. The winner yep. out of you and yep. whoever we find to challenge you will win $150 what-if voucher. Great. You love travelling. You like going around staying Great. places. Mine so. will go straight to charity if it can, but that's all right. Will it? Yeah, why not? Is that charity that's Rick, Rick Arden's no, charity? No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not the human fund. George for that one. Yeah. Yeah. The it's the fund. Rick Arden oh, yeah. long weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Benevolence fund. Um, all right, 132410. If you, you need to know Seinfeld, don't call up if you're just like, oh, yeah, no, I know their names. No, yeah, you no, need you, to, need, you, you need, need to it's know it. It needs to be part of you. You've got to be better than him, otherwise. <laughs> All right. We can't just let him win. He might be the black belt of black belts. Well, yeah, uh, no. Oh, no. It is time to pit Channel 7 newsreader for the last 74 years, Rick Arden, <laughs> against one of our listeners in a Seinfeld off, and that listener is Narissa from Parkwood. Good morning, Narissa. Morning, guys. Morning, Narissa. Narissa, we need to know that you're up for the challenge. You know everything about Seinfeld. I watch it every single night on Netflix. Wow. Oh, okay. I love yeah. it, Marissa. It's fresh too. It's a great show. And how many times have you gone through the series? I wouldn't even know. Probably about okay. 10. Mm. All right. Okay. This sounds well, like it's going to be a match team. That's does. right. We've it got does. a bunch of questions. Here's what's going to happen. We'll ask the question. If you think you know the answer, you need to buzz in with your name. Okay. All right. If you get it right, you get the point. Um, Rick, you good with that? Buzz on with your We'll test your buzzers. Rick? Bzz. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a different buzzer. Nerissa, I was a piece of paper. We want to get Nerissa's number afterwards if we can. Nerissa, stay on the now line you, because we need to Now you're making it creepy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll test your buzzer again, Rick, because it didn't work the first time. Um, Rick? 
Rick. There we go. Uh, no, I like bzz. <laughs> Narissa. <laughs> Narissa. Narissa, well. okay. Special bees. All right, are you ready? Mm. Where does Elaine work and what does she do? Rick. Yes, Rick. Rick. Pendant Publishing or she uh, works with uh, uh, Jay Peterman and she also worked with Mr Pip. And she also, uh, most of the time, she's a publisher. She reads through manuscripts. I didn't ask for a resume. <laughs> That is you all got accurate. That is so Rick has shot out to a one that Neil Lee. Go, Narissa. Here you go. You go. Okay. Question number no. two. What is Jerry's apartment number? Come on, Narissa. Nar- oh, Narissa? Yes, Narissa. 5A? Yes. Yes, oh, Narissa. Yeah. Narissa order. Okay. That's one all. Okay. Third question. This is a bloody rip. I love it. Where did George Costanza... Famously, famously pull out a golf ball from? Rick. Narissa. Rick. Rick. A whale's oh. blowhole. Okay, <laughs> what did he say he was for an extra point? A marine, marine biologist. biologist. And <laughs> the golf ball's a titleist. <laughs> <laughs> what number? <laughs> one. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Right, one. All right. Right. I think we're going to ask all these questions mm-hmm. that I never wanted mm-hmm. to stop. What's the name of the coffee shop where Jerry and his friends... Narissa. Oh, Narissa. Uh, Narissa. 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 Monk. Very yes. Good. Very good. It's two all. All right. Might all have right. to bypass the yeah, next one. Yeah, I'm not asking the next one. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Which main cast member does not appear in the pilot? Rick. Narissa. Or oh, Rick. Elaine. Is correct. No. Amazing. Narissa, yeah, you knew that too, that. didn't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Okay, it's, uh, Rick okay. leads 3-2. All right, next question. What does George want to name his future son? Rick. Narissa. Rick. Seven. <laughs> okay. Narissa, you're doing well because you you're are. right on the yeah. hammer. All right. Yeah. Here we go. What book's late return earns Jerry a stern talking to Narissa. 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 Oh. Narissa. Tropic of Cancer. It's correct. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> this is so good. They know, they know their stuff. Okay. Um, which guest star said they're real and they're Rick? spec... Yes, Rick. Narissa. Oh. Terry Hatcher. Is correct. <laughs> Otherwise known as Sidra. Oh, was oh, that the, the name show. in the show? Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Sean. Okay. This is an easy one. This is an easy one, yep. Yep. Who died from licking envelopes? Rick. <laughs> Rick. Susan Ross. <laughs> she died on May 16th, 1960, 1996. Oh, my God. That's right. Okay. And George is trying to get out of the marriage in Can the I first place. Can I tell you something, right? We were thinking some of these might be a little bit too yeah. hard and then off. All right. According to a conversation between Jerry and Elaine, what's the magic number of dates when a face to face? Yes. Yes. Very good. Uh, number of dates, three? No. No. The number of dates on a face-to-face breakup is required, Rick? Oh, five. Uh, five, I'd say. Seven. No, seven. 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 Oh, there we go. We found one thing both of you didn't know. That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> My favourite. What's the name for Jerry's favourite shirt? Rick. Narissa. Rick. Rick. Golden Boy. Yes. Wait, there. Extra points. He got a new favourite shirt. What was that called? Narissa. 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 Go, Marissa. Baby Blue is right. Baby, Baby Blue. Blue. <laughs> we'll give you a point for that, Narissa. Well done. Let's get to right. Rick Lead 7-4. All right. <laughs> Next question. How, ma- how, how much money does Kramer make upon originally Rick. selling his... Yes, Rick. Rick. $500. Incorrect. Incorrect. Selling selling Narissa, would you like to come stories. in for the point, oh, Narissa? you're right. 1000 No. Correct. No, no, 750 750 mm, right. Too quick. Mm. Yeah. All right. Of Jerry's many shallow complaints about the women he dates, what petty thing bothers him about his girlfriend Gillian? Rick. Yes, yes Rick. Rick. She's got man hands. <laughs> <laughs> she does have man hands. Oh, Amy's telling us to wind it up, oh, but, but I just want to ask oh. this one. What Could are the names of George's fictitious horses? Rick. Yes, Rick. Snoopy oh. and Prickly Pete. <laughs> 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 Marissa, you knew all these answers, know, didn't you? Oh, I know you did. We'll have yeah. to call it there because we've got to get to the news with Ellie. But... Marissa, come to the Hurdies tonight. Yes. 7 o'clock. Seven, we need to yeah. you. You're a worthy opponent. No, she can be on our table. I know. I mean, <laughs> we did have that $150 Waddy voucher, Rick. You can choose to keep it or you could give it to Narissa if you wanted to. Narissa, you can have it if you roll up tonight. Oh, and join thank the you so How's much. That? There you go. Yeah, you've got to roll up tonight. <laughs> All right, Narissa. You know stuff, Anyone Narissa. can go. Um, Anyone? Rick, Rick needs you on his team. <laughs> oh, you'd be unbeatable then. <laughs> At the Herd's well done, tonight, Marissa. yeah? Yes, please. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so, Rick, yeah. just with your team quickly, are yeah. you the most knowledgeable or have you got people? Oh, well, no, we've got people who are great. Yeah, they uh, they share the knowledge. It's great. What's yeah. your team's name? 
Uh, our team is the Crazy Joe Devolers, named after a crazy, <laughs> crazy Seinfeld. Joe, yeah. And we're up against Team Jugdish. That's yes. Jerry's alter name. Perfect. Um, but uh, look, there's there's prizes there's tonight for, for everybody. Two. Yeah, 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 for best impressions. Like these pretzels are making me thirsty, or mm-hmm. no soup for you. you know, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Yep. They'll laugh if people want to come along tonight. Yep. Come along. We'll put you on a table. Hey, what's, what's George's alter ego name? George? Yeah. No, he doesn't. Oh, George. Um, he's Art Vandalay. <laughs> that is right. Nathan just wanted to test you one more time before we let you go. <laughs> right. Art Vandalay. Thank you so much, Rick. Thanks, right. Rick. Rick Thanks, you have Puzzle proven of a man. yourself. You've proven yourself. <laughs> this is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. We're talking at the moment about when you've been ripped off mm. and you just can't let it go for good reason because there is a great injustice going on here. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. One that I remember that stuck with me for years when I was in the island, Cost, Nat, that you've yes. been to, and I um, was walking down the street and I stopped to get a kebab and this guy <laughs> um, charged me the equivalent of about $10, Australian yeah. dollars, right? And I was eating this thing and they're only small um, yeah. over there. Where well, I, I paid on the same island um, one euro. Yes, yeah. Sean just so about his so fork, about, a, about a dollar forty at the time, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I was eating this thing, and I literally walked I don't know twenty meters down the road, and I knocked this thing off in in, in a heartbeat. So I, I, there's another shop there, so I just went and ordered exactly the same thing, and the guy charged me a dollar. Mm. So then I went back and started trying to tee off at this bloke. He stung me ten, yeah. literally twenty meters away. Same oh. deal as you, Nathan. I know. It enrages the outrage. Us. Hello, Cass. Hi, how are you going? Great, Cass. Hey, All right, Cass. so tell us about how you're ripped off and we'll get enraged. So I went to Melbourne this weekend for the footy, round one. Yep. Um, yeah, went and saw most of the games. Um, went to the St Kilda Fremantle game on um, Sunday and um, thought, okay, well, rather than walk around everywhere, we'll purchase our tickets online. Purchased mm-hmm. our tickets online, paid $70 a ticket. Yeah. Got in the stadium, rang my son-in-law to see where he was. He mm-hmm. said, oh, yeah, we're up in the third tier, $7. General seven, 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 seven. Imagine going to a football game for seven dollars. No, you can't. You go watch Doc, uh, Frail West Coast play here. It doesn't mm. seven dollars? It's more than seven dollars. No. <laughs> no. Seven, seven dollars. So what, yep. did, what did you have to say? <laughs> um, did you have ten times seats. as much fun? <laughs> well, we did because we moved seats. We found better seats than what we had paid for. Yeah, it was free. Hey, yeah. what's going on here? It seems like pre-purchasing is not the go. Well, the thing is, mm. right, so so pre-purchasing is secured that you're going to be there. Yeah. Mm. And then it's just like potluck on the day or whatever if you're going to get the, the seats cheaper. But it's fundamentally not right. Yes. It's not. It's not right. If you're committing to yes. the ticket price beforehand, yes. it should be more at the It gate. should be more at the it gate. Sh- you should be rewarded for planning and for yes. giving them the money ahead of time yeah. because they can invest that yeah. of course they in can. the short-term money oh, market, Sean. Oh, okay. uh, thanks, Cass. We're angry. Um, Hayley, hello. Oh, hello, guys. How are you going? Hi, Hayley. Hey, Hayley, what happened? Oh, hair salon, guys. Uh, mm. Yeah, got got my hair done a week ago. Uh, cost me six hundred and thirty dollars. What, Ooh. Rapunzel? Yes. Are you like, what are you? No, are you, what? What did you have? Yeah. Done? Sorry, did you get a hair yeah. transplant or did you get? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got my hair coloured like full head of blonde yeah. foils. Yeah. Um, and I went to this salon that you know had good reviews, and I thought, you know, they said blonde expert. I'm like, okay, this okay. is great. Um, and I'm a hairdresser as well, so I <laughs> wanted to go somewhere that was good. And, um, yeah, I walked out 6.30, and I didn't really want to, like, make a thing of it because everyone's looking at you. And then um, it was it was like cheese. Like, I looked like a whopper with cheese just walking out. <laughs> it was so bad. And I had to go. So this week I had to go and get my hair done again at oh, a different salon for so- 180 and it was so much cheaper, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is yeah. – is, so I okay, go without naming it, this is a is this a top-notch salon, is it, that you've – I mean, it could be, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was, so it was you're quite now good. more than $800 in the hole for a haircut. Oh, look, okay. yeah, I'm a good-looking hobo, basically. I've, you know, oh, taken out really? a loan. Hey, so you're a hairdresser, really? right? So for that That's, just mm. for, for that original, like, thing for what you paid six thirty for, what should the normal cost of that be? That, I reckon, max to 40 I reckon that, yeah. So, yeah. H- Hayley, your hair's been done, You've had, it's been blow-dried, it's all done, they've given you the, this is what it looks like, and then you yeah. go to the front counter. <laughs> what Did you make a comment when they said that'll be I, 6.30? I choked. I, I choked. I felt so bad for complaining, and I didn't want to be that girl that's like, I'm a hairdresser, I don't want, you know, I just was like, it's fine, I just need to get out of here, because it took yes. 
from like all day. It took all day as well. For them so to do a bad a job. Yeah. Did you try yeah. um, at that point saying, oh, actually, to be honest, I'd like it without the cheese, thanks? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Normally extra oh, cheese, right? Yeah, extra cheese but not when extra. it's your hair, as it turns out. Oh, so oh my God. Hayley. Hayley. That's Hayley. devastating. Oh, my God. What has that done to your budget? Hayley. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Rupert Murdoch is engaged uh, for the fifth time mm. to his 66-year-old lady friend. She's 92. 92. Yeah, pretty amazing they, stuff. They met just a few months ago. Yeah, oh, fair effort. I tell you what, slays them, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. He actually does. He it's must amazing be, yeah. what money does. And just, um, oh, it could be personality. He must. It could be. Yeah, but, know, well, but he's, he must have a great personality. Probably packing some heat. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Um, relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship, people. It just, it's always amazed us. It's unbelievable. When you witness it, oh. it's extraordinary. It's like, it's what, like, are you, what are you how? doing? What is the like, magic? And, and especially when they're not drop-dead gorgeous. No, that's they're, right. They're just like a, they're normal, just a normal person. Just a run-of-the-mill basic person. Like, your, your, you know, your sevens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, not your tens. And then there's the other point. Who could be bothered? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> going through that point. whole yes, thing no, again and yes. again and again. God. Well, maybe gonna... Amy. Hello. Hi. How are Hi, you? Amy. Okay, who's the serial relationship person, Amy? My mother. Oh, okay. Talk us through it. Okay. So my mum, bless her, she's gorgeous, Mm. but she married my father when I think she was 17, Um, and then they had a 10-year relationship. Yeah. She has been married now and divorced three times. Mm. She's now in a, well, she was, She's in a pretty serious t- another ten year relationship, but refuses to marry him. Yes. yes. But her and my father have got a wee spark reconnecting. Stop. Oh. They got a what? They got a what? A, a wee spark. spark. Oh, wait. wait so, she's yeah. gone back to the beginning. She's doing. She's doing a lap. She's, she's doing a lap around. Right. So that could be five. That's like five <laughs> big time relationships. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. yeah, but my my parents didn't speak for forty years. Yes. Oh. So they've so all to... through my growing up, we yeah. couldn't even have them in the same room. Yes. Yeah. And now, yeah, the, the, you must and be like, now... oh, thanks very much. When I was a kid, you could have gotten along. And now then, when exactly. it no longer matters. And now, Amy, they could be in an, doing it. in the same room doing some stuff that you wish they... All, yeah, apparently all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Oh. Um, so I want to know, when you have more than, say, two... But when you have around three or more marriages, mm. do you still ask for wedding presents? I mean, I would, but do you, Amy? Oh, well, yeah, I think we all did, actually. But, you know, stepsisters, brothers and sisters, I think there was about 18, 19 of us at one point. <laughs> yeah, that's huge, Amy. There's a lot of presents. When you add them all up. Stuff happening. When yeah. you add them all up, yeah, with the new husbands coming in with kids. Yeah. Okay, so then when the relationship, one of the relationship ends, do you keep the the siblings? The like, do you keep them? Are you or still do you in just, touch? Do you just discard <laughs> them and let them go and go on to the next family? Uh, no, pretty much the last two we discarded. Yeah, last right. two, yeah, okay. Like, they yeah. never made an impact. Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. Amy, at some yeah. stage, do you sit down with your mum and go, you know, you've gone through your head in. <laughs> you know, you're out there a bit. You got some relationships. How about we wind this up? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, you do. Absolutely. But, I mean, she's she's still um, young and vibrant yeah. and, and living life. Don't you want her to be happy? True. I, yeah. I absolutely do. Yeah. I it absolutely seems like she's got uh, I just think she's maybe, a date with a relationship, She's though. repeatedly happy with different people. That's fine. <laughs> find, find a fresh pool to swim in, though, I yeah. think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, instead of going back to the beginning again. That is, that is also a very good point. Thank yeah. you, Amy. All right. So um, let's go on to Mitchell in Greenwood. Hello, Mitchell. We're not talking right. about multiple relationships right now. You've got to speak to us about our car query. <laughs> yeah. Um, your mate's uh, $180,000 yep. uh, Range Rover you're talking about. Yep. There was a Land Cruiser Marketplace for second hand for $210,000 the other day. That's oh, amazing. Second hand. How what many year? Ks did it do as well? How, yeah. how old was it? Um, oh, it was it was a pretty new one, but it had the full kit out of the back and everything. Yeah. But yeah, two hundred ten thousand dollars for a second hand Land Cruiser. That's wow. pretty. That's pretty good. Wow. I tell you what, second hand cars value. at the moment yeah. are insane. But I have especially like Land Cruisers do hold their value. Mitchell, are you a car? You're a big car person, are you? Uh, yeah, but I'm only nineteen, so 
I can't afford that. Oh, no. oh you're no. he's, he's, he's in the hatchback street. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we no, were all there I'm with, the, I'm with the 20-year-old cars at the moment. Yeah, yeah. but well, like, <laughs> it always like blows my mind that people will spend – Two hundred thousand yeah. dollars on a car. To me, anything more than a hundred, yes. even I don't even. I can't even go that. to hundred thousand. Yeah. Even seventy thousand dollars for a car blows. My I mind. mean, lots mm. of people are uh, offsetting it through through a business, so it becomes a tax deduction. Yeah. So, like, and that's you know, my brother the, drives uh, a Land Cruiser because he lives on a farm. Yes. Like, you know, they need yeah. it. They yeah. travel long distances and need it for yeah. that. So that makes sense. But people driving Land Cruisers around the street and they just work a regular yeah. job that makes yeah. no sense well, to me. Well, both those cars are four wheel drives, right? And yeah. most yeah. of them don't even go off road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mitchell. Um. When you know you get into some money later on, not talking about Sean McManus money, but just, yeah. oh know, yeah, yeah, some All normal money. Yeah. What what what's what's the car you want, Mitchell? Oh, it's still uh, it changes every day. To be honest with you, yeah. uh, one day it'll be a wagon, next time it'll be a Ute. Changes every day. Yeah. Oh, Mitchell, I've got a brand new yeah. BT fifty, um, and you should see this thing is an absolute weapon. Oh yeah, one of my mates has one of them. We went um, camping on the weekend and. He wasn't too happy that I was getting scratches on it. <laughs> yeah, you don't take that out. No, no, no. They're too yeah, pretty that's to that's take so out. That's your yeah. city ute, not yes. your country ute. Oh, yeah, city ute. And also in the back of it, nothing can go no, in there no, except for can't. just packages you've, <laughs> you're picking up. Wrapped or, in bubble wrap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, not, not, like if someone goes with a ladder in there, like smack them in the head. Sometimes there are people in this world who find love repeatedly over and over again really quickly after breaking up. Yep. Rupert Murdoch, one of them, yep. just got engaged again for the fifth time. Excited. He only split from Jerry Hall in November. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Move fast. Um, we want to find out how we can do this. Hello, <laughs> yes. Grace. Hi. Hey, Grace. Hi, Grace. So is this you that does this? Yeah, I tend to fall quick and fall pretty hard and then relationships end up leaving at about seven months in. Right. So it's really good for seven months, like like brilliant, and then just falls apart and then you just move on to the next one? Yeah, and a lot of the time it's just kind of like out of nowhere. <laughs> so, Grace, are they leaving you or are you leaving them? Um, 99% of the time they're leaving me. I oh, think sometimes 99% I can... <laughs> Yeah, you come on a bit strong so at some there. stage. Have you, have you done some research into what happens to your appeal at the seventh month mark? <laughs> um, I think I become a bit overbearing to people. Aww. I have, I hold I'm quite a needy person. Yeah, yeah. sweetheart. Mm. Um, where, where do you meet them all, Grace? Are you, are you an app um, girl or... My most recent relationship was online, um, but all the other relationships have been in person, yeah. Where? What do you mean where? in person? Where? What do you mean Just where? Into them where? Give us the exact locations and times. <laughs> so we won the coordinates. <laughs> so whereabouts? Where, where was one of the ones you met in person? Um, at the club. <laughs> oh, at the okay, clubs. At the clubs. We, we don't go, we don't go to We're the not clubs. in the clubs. Damn, is there oh. anywhere that's not in the club? <laughs> Yeah, so I, I tend to fall quick and fall hard and so how end up. Grace, how many have you been through in the last couple of years? Let's say the last two years. Um, last two years, probably about three relationships. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're seven months. Seven months. Pop, seven so months. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. about right. I think it's pretty good. I did read something that it's normally three months because yeah. that's when the guy finds out three months is the, the limit a woman can keep in the crazy. Hey, Grace, what I, I don't going to say keep in the fast. Keep in the crazy. <laughs> Um, Grace, is there a slight mourning period for the relationship afterwards for you or do you just go dust yourself off and, and go get back straight to the back club. out there? Um, I dust myself off pretty quickly. depends on the situation. Yeah. Um, but, no, I'm pretty pretty impressed with myself. I tend to get up off my feet, um, on back onto my feet quite quickly yeah. and, back you know, it is what it is and I'll yep. find the one one day. Yep. Yeah. Where, are you, where are we currently? Are we, are we in the next seven-month cycle? Where are we? No, I think I'm probably going to take a year off this no, year. No, you won't. You won't. You <laughs> so so, so you, you're currently single right now? Yes. When did when did that one break up? Um, About a week ago. Yeah, no. About a week ago. <laughs> You'll be hooked up by yeah, the yeah. end of the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Grace, yeah. Grace guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. Are you going to the club this weekend, Grace? <laughs> No, but I do have a friend's birthday at a pub. Oh, oh you're in okay, trouble. Yeah, that's it. Well, I mean, if it can happen at the club, it can, it can happen, happen at, at the pub. pub. <laughs> Good work, Grace. Get on you, Grace. Keep it up. Elise is in Safety Bay. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Elise. Elise. Does this apply to you as well? Not to me, but to my dear mum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was married to my dad for 14 years, had three kids, um... 
kicked him out mm-hmm. and was remarried within six weeks. Oh! oh. Was there a bit of crossover, do you think, just privately? Yeah, there could have been. Mm. To be, I think there might have been, but... Mm. Um, she only met him two weeks before she asked my dad to leave. Stop. So even so, wow, even um, if it was two oh months, my God. that's a, that's really yeah, quick. and that's not they weren't dating after six weeks. They were they were married. married. <laughs> Where did she meet him? Um, I think it was like a local barbecue kind of thing. Oh. A local barbecue. And how long have they been together? Sorry, for? wait there. No, no, yeah. I need to get back to the local barbecue. What do you mean? Is it like someone like just mates, a just mates house. catching up? Or was it like at a pub? Yeah, so we lived um, in like a really small community, so there yes. was like regular catch ups. It was, yeah, just like a So your mum's rocked up with her, with her coleslaw that someone yes. told her to bring, or your coleslaw's <laughs> the best. That was obviously amazing. And then he's rocked up with like, you know, a, a tray of rissoles or something. Ris- you know, because you don't want to rock up with sausages if no, you think, no, well, that's no. a bit too forward. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and then they've met each other and they're going, yeah, this is all right. And then she's ditched Two weeks dad. later, she's gone, nah, this Rissol man's the one for me. Yep. Love the feel of his... And six weeks later, Rissol. locked down. <laughs> Rissol's for life. Try not to say meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then six weeks... So how is he? He's great. To be to her credit, they've been together for over 20 years 20 now. 20 years! Oh. They had two more kids and, yeah, he's he's fantastic. So How's your dad? You right. know, how is your dad? Um, he he was really cut up about it for a long time afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah. like, I've got, I can make rissoles. I know. Give <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> me some mince, I'll roll it into a ball. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Elise. 20 years. Wow, Fair enough. Nice. Yeah. Jess is in Bibber Lake. Hello. Hi. How's it going, guys? Okay, Good, Jess. Jess. Who does this apply to? My cousin, mm-hmm. bless her heart. Yes. Yeah. She's been married four times. Oh. Uh, has four kids to four different but oh, to each one husband, each. Okay, oh, well, one, one each. Some yep. about why not? Why not? But the thing is, is she's thirty-two. <gasps> oh, that is well, a fair go. effort. That Hell, is one well, to the other, really. Well, well, when you well, look but, at that. No, so, so one kid per father. I mean, it's good to mm-hmm. see. Um, it's basically trying different recipes, isn't it? Yeah. To see what you, <laughs> see what you get. It is. They do that in the horse. You know, when the first one you go, oh, that it's one wasn't that great, and then like, <laughs> yeah, but, but don't you reckon? Never Sean? Say, send them back to the same yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So she was she spending like two two years with each one. Is that about how it worked out? Yeah, pretty much. Um, she was engaged for all of them before the divorces were final. Oh, okay. So she moved wow. on before. Oh, wow. Before so she locked divorces. it in before she let the other one go. That's yes. smart. Um, yeah. In your opinion, <laughs> Jess, um, out of the four children, which one turned out the best? Which 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 recipe was the best? <laughs> oh, I haven't had a, that much to do with it. But, but just on the surface, mm, value, even just, just looking at pick, the... to pick one off the shelf just for off, looks. Uh, off the Instagram I think, photos. Uh, from, Probably the second one right, because he was sort one. of a Latina. Oh, rather, so it's got that's a nice one. That's a lovely one. Exotic look about it. Yeah, we all like yeah. those. Yeah. But then that'd be that. disappointing, wouldn't it? Because then you get the second one, the recipe's really great, and you go, yeah. okay, well, the third one's going to be amazing, yeah. and then that one's like a, no. like a flat pancake. Well, that's because yeah. you changed yeah, the, the recipe. I know, but you... But you, <laughs> you, you the third, <laughs> she just said the, the third, third one's the ranger. You know what? There are a lot of rangers listening right now, and we love them all. You can be beautiful. Oh, absolutely. Of course, of course. Of course, that's all backtrack. I think of rangers, and I love them to do. Of course we do. Yeah. In spite of that, hey, you're really Jess. saving it, Jess. You're really saving it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.